All right, well, welcome back again as we continue to dig deep into the Bible. Uh, and uh, so today we're going to be coming from another one of Jesus's short, these are all the beginning ones, they're all short parables this week. Um, and so we're going to be in Matthew chapter 5, just one verse today, but a very powerful verse. Chapter 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but the salt loses its flavor. How shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You know, Jesus liked to tell picture, uh, stories with p things people understood. And there's one thing I understand is salt. Uh, the Wintermeyer family, the men in the Wintermeyer family, we love our salt. Uh, my dad grew up uh, and it didn't matter what was put before him. It didn't matter how much salt you put on it. The first thing he did was grab the salt shaker and put some more salt on it. My dad put salt on everything, pizza, everything. You can imagine, you know, there was no stuff. My dad had a saying, there is never enough salt on anything. Uh, and the kind of funny thing is later in life, uh, a couple of years ago, he went to his doctor. And the doctor said, man, you got to cut down on your salt, baby. And it, it was like the worst thing he could ever hear was, I got to cut down on my salt. Because my dad, it, it doesn't, you, you, could, you could even see the salt crust on the top and he's still going to add more salt to the, to the thing uh I, I do the same thing i my, my kids were are like that it, my wife put a steak in front of me she's like i already salted it i, I know it doesn't matter I, it, you can't have <laughs> enough salt so getting back to my dad my dad goes to the doctor and says you need to take away your cut way down your salt intake and he was just miserable it was like months and he's he just complained about how bad the food tasted because he's so used to all this salt and then after uh, about six months, he went back for a recheck up and they redid the thing. And the doctor came back to him and said, hey, uh, hey, Jim, that's my dad's name. Uh, uh, here's the thing. Um, uh, I told you to cut back on your salt Well, your test came back. And, and I got to tell you right now, you, you need to add some more salt to your diet. My dad just put his hands up in there. And now, man, he, he's back to just, uh, hey, baby, it, it's salt. Salt salt is the thing. That is his <laughs> number one food group and uh so uh but yeah uh, he says you are the salt of the earth but the salt loses its flavor how shall it be seasoned what an amazing thing you know salt it make, makes a lot of difference in that you know we're built to create our bodies are built to crave it it's the only mineral our body is built to crave it, it's we just crave crave salt and, and it, it seasoning is so well you know i i i we watch a show on tv called a master chef if you haven't seen it it's it's a cooking show where these 20 home cooks come together to compete for the prize of the master chef with their own book, their own restaurant, and, and all this type of thing. And one of the biggest things that they criticize them on is they'll be making these gorgeous meals, but they'll under season it and they'll say, Where's the salt? You know, because they'll forget about that simple thing. When you take the salt out of a, a great dish, it, it, there's, there's a, it, the flavor just kind of just. It just kind of goes uh, uh, away with that, and and then, and then what? It, it's no good, and, and they'll they'll take this food and they'll just you know, it's terrible. I've even seen them on the show spit the food out into the garbage can. It's got to make that contestant feel terrible. And God's what God's saying here is make sure that your life is seasoned. Make sure that you're adding to it. Make sure you're not just walking through life as just a plain Jane hamburger or steak or whatever. Add stuff to it. You know, how do you do that? By going into the word of God. God has so much, so many seasons he can put into your life. Uh, the fruits of the spirit, the gifts of the spirit, the miracles he wants to do in your life. Uh, how he just wants to talk to you on a daily basis. How he wants to put thoughts in your head and to help you do this and that. <clears throat> in order so your life can be amazing. And so people see your life and they see what's happening. They can go, wow, there's something amazing. That, that is a really amazing type of thing. And when they take a bite out of your life, not, not actually taking a bite out of you, but they see your life and they, 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 they partake in what's going on in your life. And they say, man, what's different about your life and my life? And you can say it's the seasoning. And it's the seasoning that God pours onto my life. And, and, and you got to take, take care of it and say, God, I want, now here's the thing. God wants to season your life. He wants to make your life outstanding. But here's the thing. He's not going to do it if you don't want it, if you don't ask for it, if you don't allow God to move in your life. God wants to be great with you. He says if you get close to God, God gets close to you. And God brings all these different seasonings and flavorings and all these, these spices into your life to spice it up. No, and so you can be special, so you can feel great, but so those around you can see, wow, this is a life with Jesus. I need to have a life with Jesus because that's why God <clears throat> spices up our life and makes us 
to look the way we do. So people go, I want to have that life too, because he wants everyone to come to him. The best way to share Jesus with someone is allow God to put those spices, to put that salt, to put that seasoning in your life, and God will move in a mighty way. Dear Lord, I pray today, Lord, that you will season someone's life today in a way they never thought possible. And they'll come back and say, God, what are you going to do today? God, what, what, what spice, what season are you going to put in your life from your word? Touch me today so I can touch others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's a great thing. So, and, and also part of being seasoned, not only asking God, but hey, find out what the seasonings are. Read, read through this book, this wonderful Bible. It's an amazing thing. Well, thanks so much for listening today. Remember, as always, that Jesus loves and cares for you. I love and care for you, and you are absolutely awesome.